Russell Bradman. Now, a couple of days ago, he wound up getting his channel demonetized because of the allegations that's going on with him right now and a bunch of women. And let's just sit there and say the R word, right? Now, I was watching the story on the, um, the Young Turks. And one of the, I guess one of the guys was doing an interview with, um, you know, the head honcho of YouTube. And he pretty much asked him, like, well, he didn't actually get convicted yet of these crimes. So why are you, you know, why, why did you demonetize his channel? YouTube has a policy, right? What you do offline affects your online business. Okay? So the partying and things of that nature, look at the note boys, right? During the whole COVID parties, as they were called. Um, but pretty much what you do offline affects what you do online. And he pretty much kind of, you know, this is my whole thing. When I sat there and I, and I and I watched this interview, I was just like, you know, this is the reason why most people don't do interviews or they don't do it without like really good prep PR time because the explanation that this man gave was just so acidine, like it made zero sense. And I'm like, what? I mean, he said something to the effects, and I'm paraphrasing. He said something to the effects of, you know, we have to sit there and long story short, he was like, if it makes the platform looks bad, then we got to sit there and take action, you know, like we would with any other, you know, with any other, any other creator. But I'm like, you didn't really answer his question. You know, he didn't get, he didn't get convicted yet. Right. At this point, let him have his day in court. This happens. Okay, cool. Then you sit there and you take action. You, you know, you, you take away his funds or whatever, but to sit there and demonetize him before he has his day in court is complete and utter BS. Now, what this really comes down to is they don't want to have another quote unquote apocalypse where there was a time period where people were just sitting there making money like there was no tomorrow on YouTube. But unfortunately, you had a couple of bad people that really just kind of spoiled it for everyone and ad companies start pulling back, you know, off, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that. And I think what it really comes down to is that YouTube is nervous that, you know, you have some people, you know, some ads or whatever that would just sit there and pull out automatically. It's this thing. Ads, they don't like bad press, okay? They will stay away from bad press like kryptonite. And that's what YouTube is that they're worried about. They're worried about they're worried about the you know the um the ad companies would have pulling their ass from from YouTube. I get that, but at the same time, I don't think it's right. Because let's just sit there and say for the sake of argument, he is proven innocent. Then what? But they're just they're just gonna just what oh you know what? Listen, we're we're just gonna sit there and reverse our decision and, and monetize your channel back again. Okay. But what about the millions and millions of dollars that he lost? Because you preemptively took money from him before his day in court. Now, he moved all his stuff over to Rumble. Um, you know, so if you're a Russell Banner fan, you can go there and stuff like that. And I think he said some to the effects of, you know, that's what happens when, you know, you have the left or whatever that's controlling the media or something like that. I'm like, here's the thing. This isn't a left thing. This isn't a, a left or right, conservative or liberal, anything like that. This is just YouTube in a BS policy that they have. Okay. That, that's generally what it comes down to. It is a BS policy that they have where they'll demonetize your channel for little to no reason at times. Um, they've had deleted people's channels accidentally. They've given me strikes on my channel before I even started uploading. I mean, granted, they, they took it back or whatever, but it was like, they make mistakes all the time. And some mistakes are minor. Some are a little bit bigger. But this whole Russell Brandon thing is an example of YouTube just effing up. 
right? Just straight up F now. Now I don't, I don't really watch his content, so I don't really know what his content is about. But you know, from content creator to content creator, it's just messed up. That's just point blank period. Um, I feel like that's about it. That also I really have to sit down and stay on the subject. But if I missed anything, anything you want to sit down and add, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.